is day six of Vlogmas, which is kind of hard to believe. I feel like it was just December 1st and now we are almost one week into the month already. It's also been a really busy week for me. I think I am finally into the groove and the new routine of filming and uploading and editing and all of that stuff each and every day. But this week is no joke. The rest of the week, and pretty much all week so far, I have some kind of appointment or errand to run outside of the house. And it's really just keeping me on my toes because I need to be super strategic about blocking in studio time to get my work done. I had a really productive day yesterday afternoon. I did a whole bunch of admin stuff that just made me feel like I accomplished quite a bit, but I need to get to the cutting table today and cut out some fabrics. That'll be later this afternoon because I have a couple of things to do this morning. And one of the things that I've been doing or started to do, which is really helping me, is getting up a little bit earlier each day. I think I got into a little bit of a bad habit for a couple of weeks by sleeping in because I had so many shop updates and there was just so much sewing and cutting and shipping in November that I was really physically tired. And so I would kind of indulge myself each morning, sleep in a little bit, but it's starting to wear on me. So this morning I got up a little bit earlier and it feels so good to start my day off a little bit earlier, a little bit calmer. It's just really nice. It just reminds me of my favorite saying, start as you mean to end, because I was up early. I made my bed super early. I got a load of laundry in. I sat down and caught up on one of my favorite Vlogmases, my friend Chelsea from Legacy Fiber Arts. I just caught up on all of her Vlogmas on her Patreon, which is Chelsea Makes and Oh my gosh, it was just so nice to sit and knit and catch up. And I did some work on my Advent socks. I am so excited. I'm still not caught up completely to today, but adding in this blue stripe for day six, oh my gosh, the greens were killing me. They're stunning. I love this gradient look and this minty bright green and then this soft blue I can't even handle it it's so beautiful so I put in day six on one sock today I still am only up to day five on the other one but they're neck and neck now we're getting close I'm almost caught up and I'm pretty sure by the end of today I will have caught up here yesterday <clears throat> While I was doing some admin work in the studio, I tidied up a little bit. I started to gather yarns and organize a few piles and I am so inspired, which is really driving me to get a couple things off the needles and just keep up with my socks nice and early in the morning so that I can cast on something new. Thank you so much for the pattern suggestions for my beautiful sandy colorway of the melanated boho bay yarn. There were quite a few good ones and there's one that I've already kind of focused on. I've saved it in my Ravelry library. I think I'm going to print off that pattern today and possibly cast on very soon. I'll share that later because I want to share a couple of dream knitting ideas with you. I've started a basket. I've got patterns printed. There's just so much I want to knit right now and not enough time. And to top all that off, yesterday I went down a rabbit hole researching a brand new craft, which I'm not even going to share right now because it's very preliminary and I was so close to purchasing something to do this craft. And then I just hit pause because I know what I'm like. I haven't decided yet if this is one interest that's going to stick. It's something that 
in all fairness, I have been thinking about doing for years. It has always intrigued me. It's expensive to buy the equipment to start and I don't have a ton of time. However, I do wonder if this is a way for me to carve out just some creative time for myself that has nothing to do with my shop. And really, knitting doesn't, but sometimes I feel pressure to keep up with knitting for videos and to just share content. And I really wanna get away from that. I really love knitting and making things just for the sake of doing it. It's just something that brings me joy. I'm sure it's the same thing for you. So I think I'm just gonna sit on it for a few days. If it sticks, if this interest does not leave my mind, I will share it with you. I will probably purchase it and maybe start a new hobby at the end of the month, maybe after Christmas and maybe in January. I know I'm being very cryptic, but oh, there's just so much I want to do. This time of year just makes me want to sit and make things with my hands. It's I don't know, it's just so therapeutic and it brings me so much joy. So I'm gonna share some of those dream knitting things with you a little bit later when I get a few moments to pull out the basket that I started and share some patterns with you. For now, I'm going to try to get about an hour's worth of work done in the studio before I need to head out, drop Camden off to a class and run an errand. And then hopefully when I get back from all of that this afternoon, I can buckle down, cut more fabric, prepare a few bags, just get some work done before I sit down with an afternoon coffee, do some knitting and share some of my dream knitting with you. Yesterday I shared that beautiful yarn from Melanated Boho Bay that I'm so excited to start a project with. And it got me thinking about Amanda and her genius. And it is minus two degrees here Celsius today. So I pulled out this scarf for the season because she also made me this. And I'm so in love with it. It is so beautiful. Look at it. Oh my gosh. So I pulled it out because I really want to wear it today. I didn't get too much use out of it before because um, I think when I received it, it wasn't very cold out anymore. So I've been looking forward to pulling this out. It is so exquisite. It is one of a kind, handmade. I do not have very many handmade gifts in my life. I'm usually the crafty one that makes myself things, but having something gifted to you that is handmade is really just beyond. I don't know. I think because I'm a maker, I understand what goes into it. And I really just love that I can see Amanda in this piece. Like it's a piece of art. I showed it to Glenn yesterday and um, and James, we all met Amanda at Cake Palooza, and when I pulled it out and showed them all this piece, they all said, yeah, that looks like her. It's totally Amanda. So I wanted to share it because she is such a talented artist. I mean, come on. So I'm going to throw this on with my coat today and be extremely stylish while I run a couple of errands. I just wanted to share it with you because it is so beautiful. It makes me so happy. And I just love these little touches in here. My favorite parts are this vibrant purple because you guys know I love purple. And this, I don't know if that's a leopard or cheetah, but I love it. A bit of ribbon in there. And then this section, oh my gosh. It just blows me away. It's so beautiful. And I think there's one more up here that I love. Yes, this section as well. So I just wanted to share 
you should totally check out her website. She's got beautiful yarn. She's a very talented lady and I adore her. I really need to keep shopping for a few items for Glenn's advent calendar because it's not finished, but I added this to my cart when I did groceries the other day and I was looking at all of the President's Choice products and Glenn loves chocolate covered gummies. Like he loves Big Turk, chocolate covered jujubes. I can't remember some of the other ones, chocolate covered gummy bears. I'm not a fan of that combo, but he is. And so when I saw this, I thought he might really like it. So that's going into his advent, but I really need to find a few more items for him. I've created a little inspiration station in my studio. I was cleaning up a little bit yesterday and I started to gather some yarns in a basket that I've been thinking about for a while. I really like having options and sometimes going stash diving on my shelves is a little bit overwhelming. So I really wanted to create a basket for December of project ideas, the yarns and whatever I'm thinking about making, even some patterns and just keep them in one spot. So whenever I have a little bit of extra time or am inspired, I can just go to my basket and pick something from it. I know I will not be making everything in this basket right now, but it's just narrowing down my options for some dream knitting. So I had a lot of fun setting this up yesterday. I really like keeping a basket on my shelf of hat options. I have DK weight yarns paired with mohairs and pom-poms, a few chunky skeins, all in a big basket. But there are a couple that are really calling to me and a few other projects. And so I started gathering them and kind of loving this basket. It's just sitting here on this little shelf that I have. I'm using this gorgeous basket I got at Rhinebeck one year, many, many years ago. It's pretty big. It's got all kinds of purples in it. And this just makes me so happy. And you can see there's not just yarn. I started to just pull all kinds of things, but it's really making me happy. I also decided to keep one of my everything totes in the new color teal because I'm obsessed with it. And in here, I've got all of my Pearl Soho Linen Quill yarn that I'm going to be making a number 10 shawl with. It's by Versace Knits. And I've actually kept my ball winder and swift out from the other day because I wanna start winding this all up, play with the color combinations, get the pattern in here and just get the project ready to start because I think this would be a really nice winter project. I'm not gonna put tons of pressure on myself to finish it quickly. I just feel like this is my equivalent of a blanket. I'm not much of a blanket knitter, so I think this will be fun for me. And I really just wanted to use this tote bag. So I think it's going to be a great project bag for me to take from room to room around the house. I'm actually gonna have a couple more of these and the Cardinal red ones in my shop in maybe a couple days. Maybe I'll put them in on Friday. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm working on a couple more pieces for the shop in those two new colors. But let's look at this basket of happiness because that's exactly what it is for me. As you can see right off the bat, there is more than just yarn in here. I have a fat quarter set that I pulled off of my shelf yesterday because I'm obsessed with it. And the colors are just calling to me right now. It's so beautiful. I've had this fat quarter bundle for a couple of years now. I purchased it from the workroom and it is an older collection. I don't know if you can still find it, but it is cotton and steel, the steno pool. So it's kind of got some stationary 
prints, but there's also some animals and some flowers. I think it's gorgeous. And I really love the colors, especially these deep blues and then this deep like burgundy or purple. And my vision for this is to do another really simple quilt top. I don't know what yet. And I think I want to add in some solids in the blue and that deep color to make it really moody and beautiful. We'll see how that goes. That might be a January project, but I wanted to pull it out because I've been thinking about quilting again and I haven't in a long time. I still have this quilt that has been sandwiched with my triangle quilt top, my batting and the backing for ages. It's all sandwiched and pinned and I've done nothing with it. I had wanted to get it professionally quilted and I just, I keep putting it aside like I do so many projects. So we'll see what I can do with that one and then maybe I will have a new quilt to start in January. As you can tell, I'm just feeling all of the projects right now. I wanna do so many things. I think I've been bitten. I just, I don't think I was creatively inspired for a few months and it's been picking up slowly this fall. And now with the holidays coming, I just wanna make all of the things. So let me share what else I put in here. I'll start with this because I shared it yesterday. These are the four skeins of chunky weight yarn from Melanated Boho Bay that I really wanna make something with. I got so many great suggestions from you guys in the comments yesterday. Thank you so much for that. A lot of them um, were things that I have in mind already, but for other yarn. So I really wanna make Leslie Friend's um, shrug. I can't remember the name of it. She is a uh, friend to knit with. But um, yeah, I just did a Saturday shawl by Jackie from Caddy Jack's Knits. And I have another one planned with some lamb and kid wool. So I don't want to use this yarn for that. Um, I also want to do a Sophie shawl, but I have other yarn planned for that as well. And so one of the suggestions that I got popped out. I've already saved it in my library, printed it off, and I really want to make it. So I might do this soon because it's ch chunky weight or bulky weight and it will be a fun quick knit. It is called the Self Fringing Shawl by Amberly Frost. I don't know why um, her name wasn't on the actual pattern so it was a little confusing but I searched up Self Fringing Shawl by Amberly Frost and found it. It's beautiful. It's so pretty and it's a free pattern. So that's kind of cool. So I'm definitely going to be making that. I just don't know when it will be cast on because I'm trying to finish some other things and I'm also going to cast this on. I just see a lot of knitting time in my future. I don't know if that's wishful thinking. Okay. Another thing. Oh, I was gifted this gorgeous pattern by Jen Scott. It's called Parade of Minis, and it is a fabulous idea. It's a brand new pattern that uses Advent Minis, and I am always on the hunt for projects with them, and I think this is beautiful. So you can find this on Ravelry. I am keeping it aside for possibly after Christmas when I might wanna start using some of my minis. So that's exciting. I also really wanna make these Ready for Snow Mitts by Amanda from Sweet Skein of Mine. This is a paid for pattern, so I don't wanna to share too much of it, but they're beautiful. And they use one of these duets. And I have one from Chelsea Lux. And this is an older colorway. It's a collaboration I did with Christina a couple years ago, Pinkoflage, and I think they would be so beautiful. So you hold them together. There's two skeins in here, and it's just gonna make the coziest, prettiest pair of mitts. I'm really excited about those. I think they'll be a fun 
knit because I don't really knit mittens very often, but I have to say the mittens, mittens that I have knit, I wear them a lot. I really enjoy wearing hand knit mitts. So these two skeins of Clinton Hill cashmere are in here for a Sophie scarf. It's bespoke DK. It's gorgeous. So I really want to cast one of those on too. And then the rest over here are hat options. So I've got a couple from Chelsea Lux. This is a beautiful colorway. It's called Plumage. I love those pops of teal and rusty brown and yellow. It's beautiful. So that's one. I also have from I think last Christmas this gorgeous one called Fun Times. It's a lot softer but really pretty. And I'm pretty sure I have mohair if I want to knit it with this, but I really just love the feeling of this. It's like buttery soft. This is the Chelsea Lux Baby Alpaca in Fun Times. Oh, it's so pretty. And I have this whole combo here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I can barely do it. I got this last year as well. This is another Chelsea Lux Chunky. The color is gingerbread, so it's perfect for December. Lots of fun pops of color in there. And I'm going to hold it with firewood mohair and a strand of this Kremke Soul Wool Silver Stellaris. I think it would be so fun. And I am waiting for my chunky skein of I Love New York to come because I love that colorway so much. And I'm going to print out Christina's new pattern for her chunky hat. She's been knitting it on her Vlogmas and in her last podcast she shared it. She's knitting a second one right now in a softer colorway. It's gorgeous. So I think that's going to be my hat pattern of choice for all of these chunky weight yarns. I really love the look of a simple knit hat. Pattern hats are gorgeous, but for me, I think I just prefer a really simple one. And in here is my first Sophie scarf that's about halfway done. So I do want to pick that one up, but I just really want to knit one in the Clinton Hill cashmere. And I do have another hat or two in a project bag, but this is where my mind is at for December. So I'm going to get some work done. And as soon as I have a little bit of a break, I'm going to spend it playing with color combinations for the stripes in the number 10 shawl. I'm going to cake up all this yarn, get this bag ready, and that might be, I don't know yet, I think this might be my next new cast on while I finish up some of my other whips. And as soon as I get that going, I don't know, it's either going to be the shawl or a hat. I'm just going to play it by ear and pick up whatever calls to me at any given moment. And I'm just going to enjoy all of these beautiful yarns this month and this winter season. about 4 30 it's already getting dark 
and I am trying to finish up for the day in the studio. I've been working away for hours and I have the worst headache, but I'm really trying to get this little batch of holiday project bags well on their way to being done. I have cut out some more of the mugs from this year and also some from last year, the Seasons of Love print. I just have a few and a few of the Christmas cookies. So I'm just pinning the labels on. I am really trying to get the labels sewn on by the end of tonight. I might just come back in here after dinner and sew them on so that Thursday and Friday, in between all of the other things that I have planned, I can put in the zippers. I'm trying to get these in the shop over the weekend and then I can ship them out Monday or Tuesday, which still gives a little bit of time for shipping before Christmas. I know overseas, they're not going to get there in time for Christmas, but shipping can be quite quick so it wouldn't be guaranteed before Christmas but it would be likely so I'm just doing my best to get these labels sewn on by tonight and I think all of my beautiful knitting and new cast-ons and caking up yarn is going to have to wait for another day. What am I going to cut? Like, you know, stir sticks? What is it? It's a miter box. You put big pieces, of, you're supposed to be big pieces of wood, but this is tiny, and you make cut angles. But this is tiny. <laughs> you chose it. <laughs> 